Hi, welcome to our Savior Lutheran Church and School. Well, okay, it's the pastor chats for our Savior Lutheran Church and School. Today, we're going to talk about something that you've heard a lot throughout your life, and you probably know the meaning behind it. It's one of the symbols, as we continue that series of symbols, it's the Alpha and the Omega symbol. The Alpha and the Omega symbol. Now, as this has unfolded, and you've seen we started this video with the Greek alphabet, and when you see the Greek alphabet, the picture that you saw was all of the small version of the Greek alphabet. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, Gamma, Run. Anyway, Omega as it ends. And so it's the Alpha and the Omega. It's the beginning of the Greek alphabet, the first letter of the Greek alphabet, the Alpha, and then the Omega, the last letter of the Greek alphabet. But in this symbol, this is the capitalization of Alpha and Omega. And why is that an important symbol in the Christian church? It comes from... First, uh, or from John's Revelation, the first chapter, begin, it's at verse 8, and in verse 8, he says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord, the God who is, and who was, and who is coming, and the one who is. It's an interesting thing, that uh, word, uh, the Erkomenos in Greek, he is the Pantokrator. The all-powerful. That is who the Alpha and the Omega is. And so what this passage in St. John's Revelation does, it helps us to connect salvation to the God who created all things, to the almighty, the powerful God, all-powerful. The one who is, was, and will be is the one who is... Um, created you specifically because you're a human being you are above all creation well right before verse 8 of St. John's Revelation we have a clear picture and explanation to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood and made us a kingdom a priesthood priests of his God and Father to him be glory and dominion forever and ever amen so this God who is the all-powerful, the Pantocrator, the, the one who then humbled, uh, took upon himself to say, I am going to create someone in my image, human beings, man and woman. And this is why in the Christian church we have such a healthy understanding of men and women. Something a lot of people seem to be getting confused about, but it's connected to the Alpha and the Omega, because the Alpha and the Omega is human language, and God has spoken to us in human language, and Jesus himself was a man, and in the blessing of creation, it is how he ends up saving us through creation, Jesus Christ himself. So this symbol, the Alpha and the Omega, it is the Almighty, the All-Powerful, the beginning and the end. He is all in all. Everything is consumed in this God. And he oversees everything. And what a comfort that is to us. As we realize the Alpha and the Omega, the Almighty, the Pantocrator, the all-powerful God, is the one who sent Jesus, God himself, to die for our sins. To know that that connection between the all-powerful, the Almighty, and his mercy and forgiveness. And that is what that symbol helps us to remember. That Jesus is also the creator. He is also the very God who understands all of creation. So that's how it all gets connected. And why this very symbol, the Alpha and the Omega, is a powerful symbol of the church. Because it puts us right into creation itself. It's part of the alphabet. It's the Greek New Testament alphabet. It is the beginning and the end. And in that we have complete solace. 
and comfort and hope and stability. That is what Alpha and Omega does for us. He is the one who oversees all this, so he still has everything under control. He is still the one who sees what everybody's needs are. He still sees that sins need to be forgiven. And that all-powerful God, the Almighty One, became flesh. And he died for our sins. And there becomes the picture of mercy. So the cross directly connects us to the Almighty Father. Well, thanks for listening this time. And now you understand where Alpha and Omega comes from. And you got to glimpse the rest of the Greek alphabet, too. <laughs>